Hi, I'm Heather from Heo Bug Tubes, and it's the first video of 2024. How is it? Is it good? <laughs> Has life improved in the two days of 2024? I hope so. I hope so. In 2023, struggle bus. <laughs> Not doing great. I'm hoping. I'm I'm hoping you're doing better. <laughs> All right, so I am going to announce two different read-alongs. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna be easy. It's gonna be amazing. Um, most of you are not gonna want to read these books. Know that. I think I have cat hair on my lipstick. <sighs> Anywho, all right. So right away, it's gonna take one minute for this first one. We're continuing the Alona Andrews read along with the final series that we have by this author duo and that is the Kinsman universe which Steph has read before this is sci-fi short novellas it will be in January and February and then we'll be done I mean it's short it's quick it's gonna be no problem so the Kinsman universe this cover is a bind up of three novellas and the total is 217 pages so that will be our January live show which will be Friday night, January 12th on Novelty Corner, Steph's channel as always for the Alona Andrews read-along. February 10th will be the Faded Blades live show, which is the 200 page full length, full length book. It's Izzy and Megan and Steph and me continuing. I have never picked these up. This is the only Alona Andrews series that I've never touched and I'm very curious to see what I think of it. I've read many a short story from them and enjoyed so I don't think that the novellas are going to be any sort of issue but I'm just curious. Steph has read and loved it. I trust Steph. As of right now, Alona Andrews doesn't have any announced releases for 2024. When there is a release, we'll read it. We'll have a live show the week after release, basically. So you can plan on that whenever that does happen. But as of now, the only things that we know are the Kinsmen, and that is just January and February, and then we'll be done with Alona Andrews. <laughs> So for the handful of you that have followed us along, obviously we all love Alona Andrews, one of our all time favorite authors, but the discussing it with my friends has been such a wonderful time <laughs> on booktube. Like it just has, it's brought me so much closer to those four, those three, I'm four. <laughs> Those three just getting to chat these books and then chat life every month basically for a couple of years. I'm, I'm like getting emotional. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad that it's over. Help! Did I say that like we were not doing well? I'm not crying. You're crying. Um, it's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> um, anyways, I love talking about these books, so I, um, I'm really excited to uh, continue. I'm not excited to finish it out. I'm not excited at all for that. I would like it to just keep going. So, you know, at some point we might start over again at the beginning, because that's, that sounds great. <laughs> Then a brand new read along. Let me go wipe my tears. Hold on. <laughs> a brand new read along that I made a thing and I'm not sure that I should have. <laughs> All right. So Rock Chick is one of Kristen Ashley's most popular series. It's a romantic suspense series and I'm going to get into some of the things with it. It's not going to be for everybody by any stretch of the imagination. But she has the second gen book series starting in April. If you are not aware, this is coming out in April. The second book is coming out in December. So I was like, oh, maybe I should do a reread of the Rock Chick series. I haven't read it in a minute. And I kind of want to remember who's who, what's what before I read the second generation books, which is not something that I usually do. I usually don't reread. I just jump in and whatever I can figure out is where we're at. <laughs> but and then I was like, oh, well, I bet like Izzy will probably want to reread it too. I'll just see who else wants to, right? And the Rock Chick read along was born because just about everybody was like, yeah. <laughs> So I did not write this down. So 
please tell me I got this right. I believe is yet happy for now stuff a novelty corner megan at me out theater robin at paperbacks and planners and shay at shay geeks out now we are not all going to be in every single live show in fact we're having it on my channel and i don't know what my limit for free stream it is so i don't even know that everybody can be on my channel at the same time but here's what we're going to do there are eight full-length books there is a prequel novella and then book nine is a novella and then book 9.5 is coming out this month on the 23rd as also a novella so from january to september we're going to have a live show each month it will be the last saturday of the month eight o'clock eastern time on my channel every single month doesn't matter who can do it that's what we're doing okay so january will be the prequel novella which I have never read and I anticipate being heavy. I do not know the content warnings for it. I would proceed with caution. I know that it is about the events that we've kind of had referenced throughout the series of some side characters about like what's made him a criminal and what she went through. I wouldn't be surprised if it's SA. Like I, I don't know. Okay so I've never read that prequel novella. We're going to read that and we're going to read Rock Chick, the first book. Now, the prequel novella, novella, is 200 pages. Rock Chick is 420 pages. The first two Rock Chick books are the smallest books in the series. I've lost you. I know. And we keep growing until book eight, which is 566 pages. Okay. <laughs> okay. Know what you're signing up for. I'm going to tell you right now, this read along probably not for people who don't already love Chris and Ashley. You absolutely can start Chris and Ashley here, but that's not what I would recommend. As always, I'm going to recommend starting with the hookup. And if you don't like the hookup, I really don't think you'll like any of her books because I think it's the most palatable in a lot of ways. <laughs> I love Chris and Ashley. You know this. I love Chris and Ashley. The first book came out in 2008. This series is romantic suspense, it's bonkers, it's over the top, it's ridiculous, it's also problematic, okay? It's got, it's got copaganda, it's got questionable things, it's got a lot of content warnings, it's got alpha heroes that you, even if you love alpha heroes, you're not always gonna like, and if you don't love alpha heroes you're going to despise them with every bone in your being so like I wouldn't if I were you I wouldn't if you're not like sign me up sounds great the more alpha the better you're not gonna like it <laughs> you're not gonna like it okay however I love it I know it's problematic there's a lot of very valid criticisms <laughs> a lot of very valid criticisms that I can think of off the top of my head without doing a reread and I still love it so you know sometimes you just have to acknowledge and that's good enough <laughs> biggest content warning for this series that I want to stress I want you to know this is that rock chick regret book seven this cover right here the main character is raped in the book is not completely graphic on page but it's after the beginning of the book it happens we deal with it. like I was not prepared at all when I picked this book up and so like I've got to tell people this another another main character gets shot like there are quite a few um there's stalkers there's all sorts of stuff so there's quite a few content warnings but this is the one that just I was not prepared for and didn't expect and was really bothered by and I don't want people going in not knowing. <laughs> so this one right here okay and when we are doing the live shows I will stress again in the live show for the book before this hey next month this is what this is what we're getting into okay. So the first live show is January 27th which my husband was like Heather, <laughs> Heather that's the Royal Rumble. And I was like, oh, well, I have already committed. And I told everyone that the live show is happening no matter who can show up for it. <laughs> and it's on my channel and it's my idea. So I'll make it quick. I'll make it quick. <laughs> 
there's that. That will be the prequel novella and the novel. This was so rambly. My god. So we have live shows for the main series January through September. I plan on having a live show in October for the first Avenging Angels spinoff, even though I'm gonna read it in April. I'll read it again. Um, and then in December, when the second one comes out, I also plan on having a live show for it. You know that? It's the year of Rock Chick. Read along. I think so many of you are gonna hate this. <laughs> Um, and that's okay. That's okay. If it's me and two other people talking about it every month, that's cool. That's totally fine. But honestly, I'm not even trying to talk you into reading it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know that that's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Pretend I was never here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. This was ridiculous. How much of this can I edit out? Probably none. All right. Thanks. Bye.